Looks like Crew 2 wasn't the only one sailing through space on Friday. Check out this video. It's not another rocket or a UFO. It looks like a piece of space debris hurling toward the Crew Dragon capsule. This happened as the astronauts were about to go to sleep to get ready to dock at the ISS on Saturday. But instead, they had to jump into action. Fox 35's Alina Shirazi joins us right now. Alina, talk about a close call. Right, Luann, it was definitely a close call for crew two as they almost collided into a UFO about 12 minutes into their mission. In this dramatic video, a UFO can be seen as it shoots past the spacecraft just 12 minutes into its mission. Six hours later, the four astronauts on board were told to buckle up when a second unknown object hurled towards them, just barely missing them. NASA says the object is being classified as unknown. Of course, any unidentified flying object makes many people think of aliens and the supernatural. If we accidentally caught a UFO on tape, hey, if I had to bet, I would bet it's, it's some man-made space debris. Marcus Wilde, the aerospace engineering professor at Florida Tech, has done extensive research on space debris. He says that many of these UFOs are mostly defunct satellites and rocket parts, a big issue called space pollution. The problem is really these, these large objects that get hit by, by like a five centimeter little ball that just, just has about the energy of a hand grenade and then um, blows them apart. Wild says orbital debris creates a threat to both manned and unmanned spacecrafts. Making sure as we move forward that we limit the amount of debris that we remove spacecraft from orbit at the end of their life and there's more and more work going into finding technologies that allow us to remove the stuff we already have up there. And researchers say even a small piece of spacecraft traveling in high speeds can do big damage to a spacecraft. For now, we're live on the Space Coast. Alina Shirazi, Fox 35 News.